So Craig, the big question is why now after all of this time, are you finally willing to have that face-to-face -face conversation with Gloria, your daughter's kidnapper? Well, after watching Kamaya grow up to be the young lady that she is today, it made me more curious of the baby she used to be. So we had been talking for the last couple of days of some of the things that she was went through when she was a child and when she was with the kidnapper and everything. Um, so it just made me more curious. And I felt like at this point in our life, you know, in our relationship, this is the last bridge for me to cross, you know, to get the answers of her being a baby. What do you think this will do for you emotionally? Do you feel it'll be a release? What are you hoping to get out of this? I feel like it's gonna take a lot of pressure off of me of, of wondering what she went through. And I feel like she's the only person that will be able to answer these questions that I would have about Kamaya as a child. You know, um, I've been thinking about doing it for a while, but I just had to get ready to do it, prepare myself. And um, after talking with her and hearing some of the things she went through, it made me more curious. And I feel like it's just gonna, it's gonna, it's the end game. It's the, it's the last bridge I had across for me and Kamaya, we have came so far, and I believe this is the last step of it. It's just, I can rest after this. I have to have, I'm not so much looking for a reason why she did it. I'm only trying to get information about Kamaya. I'm only trying to learn more about her. And at the same time, uh, I feel like she need to know what I've been through. I feel like she need to understand while she was having fun with my daughter or raising my daughter, some of the things that I was going through around that time. And then, like I say, all my kids got something about them. And, you know, um, I wouldn't say bad, but I just want to know how was it raising my hyper happy child knowing it was not your baby? You know, basically the questions like that, you know, um, it's just questions that I've been holding in for years that I think she the only one can answer. Do you feel this will finally give you some sense of closure talking with her? Actually, I do feel like this is the end game. You know, everybody had a they nightmares, and I feel like by me facing mine, I won't have to worry about that nightmare no more. You know. Um, I saw you posted it on social media. You received a lot of comments from folks. A lot of people are saying it's pretty, you're pretty courageous to do this. What, what are you seeing or hearing from people? Well, I hear a lot of good talks about it. And then, you know, some people thinking for the wrong reason, like I'm going for forgiveness for the, for the kid now for, and all that. I do want people to realize I'm going for information. It's only to improve the relationship between me and my daughter, you know, um, when I put it out there, I had just got off the phone with Kamaya and I was kind of, she kind of had me boosted up and, you know, and I wrote it, realized what I was saying, but you know, what I would have to do to, to, um, to do it. Uh, I really gonna have to face her, you know, and it, it made me more nervous because it, it kind of hit me myself. Like I'm really going to do this, but at the same time, I need to do this. You know, and uh, like I said, a lot of people said it was it was good. And, you know, uh, I'm hoping, especially around these times of, of um, sadness and things that by me facing my um, situation, it might encourage other people to keep moving in their situation and face their problems and handle it, you know, so. Craig, have you thought about that moment that you'll be sitting there face to face with this woman who kidnapped your daughter? Have you thought about the emotions, what would be going through your mind, what you'd be feeling? Actually, I haven't, you know, I know I'm not gonna carry anger because if I carry anger, I'm not gonna get information. Kamaya is gonna be there with me, so she's gonna keep me motivated. But I have more questions than anger or threats towards her right now, you know? Um, not saying I forgive her, not saying I understand her. It's just that 
I feel like the information that she have is power and I need it. Is there anything you want to add or mention you want people to know about this move? Because it took a lot of us by surprise because initially I remember you saying you have no interest in speaking with this woman. You wouldn't even say her name at a point. You'd call her the kidnapper. I remember clearly you didn't even say her name, but you're, you're willing to talk with her about, you know, what, what she went through raising your daughter. This is a big step. Well, the step came, like I say, because, you know, watching my daughter evolve, like we have conquered everything we have did when we came back together, you know, and, and just, just watching her grow and being around her just makes me want to know more. Like it makes me want to do more. It makes me try to like, try to fix what was broken. And maybe if I learn this, I can fix it between her mother and, and, and Kamaya, you know, um, it's, it's just that that's what I need. It's not just for Kamaya. It, it's, it's something that I'm missing. And when I look at her, I like to see my full daughter, you know, so I need to know her as a baby. I need to see her pictures. I need to know what she did for her birthdays. I need to know where she was at this time. You know, my, I keep up with all my kids right now, they'll tell you that. And just that little part out of my memory from her, it feel like I can't move on. For some apparent reason, I feel like once I talk to this lady, it's over. We accomplished our last goal and I can leave that behind. You mentioned Shannara, how is she doing? How's that relationship going with Kamaya? Well, um, they trying. Um, Shannara's a mother. She, um, she's still processing things. I know it's hard for her. And do not get me wrong, everything I do with Kamaya and for Kamaya is for the both of us. This is no one side. I'm not trying to make her look bad. I'm not trying to hurt her feelings. I'm trying to help the situation. And I would wish that people would support that, you know, because it's hard between them, but it's also hard for, for a single parent trying to raise a kidnapped daughter. So, you know, I always respect her mother and uh, nothing that I do is against her. Or she's gonna need her mother. The Florida Department of Corrections right now, they have um, extended the suspension right now of people being able to see, inmates being able to see uh, visitors. It's, it's extended through September 14th, so you might have to wait a little while um, before you're actually able to see her. What are your thoughts on that? Well, like I say, this was an idea we came up with just yesterday. I was like, it's time. I'm getting motivated by my daughter. So I was like, okay, it's time, you know, but I don't want to, you know, jeopardize my health or none of that for this situation. Like I say, I'm taking baby steps. This is something I want to do. I, um, I need to do it. I'm going to do it soon because I got to get it out the way, you know, um, but I respect the prison and it, their, their decisions. So whenever it's safe for me to do this, then I would do it, you know. Um, like I say, I don't even know how I'm gonna be sitting in front of her, but I do know I need to be sitting there in front of her. I know, like I say, I'm not bringing anger or anything like that. It's just questions, and I, um, I just think they need to be answered. Um, lastly, I did read that what what they are allowing is you can do phone conversations, you can do um, video conversations, you can do uh, mail. Are you planning on doing anything like that or you want to wait until you can actually see her face to face? Well, I don't necessarily have to be sitting in front of her to get the answers that I need. You know, um, I just, I mean, however I can get it. She have gave me an invitation when we was at the trial of, to come and see her to talk to her. She also mentioned that she had something to give me. I don't know what it was because I never responded to her. I never talked to this lady before in my life. Gloria, I never talked to her before. Everything I know about her is from 
Shinar, I mean, from Kamaya, you know, and we don't talk much about her at all. So I don't even know what prison she at, you know, uh, it's not, I know it's not hard to find, but um, um, that's just basically it. Right? Anything at all you want to add or mention, Craig, or you feel people need to know about the situation right now? Well, the situation is it's getting better. We are a happy, but not a full family. But me and Kamaya, we are evolving. She is evolving with her sisters and, you know, and she's spending a lot of time here in Jacksonville with me. And um, the decision that I'm making is not to hurt anyone else, is, is not to help nobody but me, you know. Um, I'm just looking for answers as a father, you know, cause she might've was kidnapped from me uh, for 18 years. I have to take care of her and understand her for the rest of her life now that she's back. And I just don't want to fail. That's, that's all this mission is that I just don't want to fail my kid. So anything that I can do to make the situation better, I'll try. Craig, thank you so much for talking with us this morning. I appreciate it. I'm going to stop recording now.